Hello and welcome to Geeket Play Studio Tutorials. Let's continue looking on some um, options of how we can create even more impressive models. So the one thing also just a little bit continue from previous lesson that you remember how you can customize, you move your around your windows, you can dock them and you can undock them. Dock them, undock them, so you can reuse it. Also, um, you can go around and you can see when is your mouse modified you can increase decrease um, viewing windows so you can preview more options okay and hopefully you can find a little bit more familiar yourself with a kind of pre-settings and again if you did something wrong go back and to your preference editor and go reset to default okay let's go right now to our lines and what i want to do right now in lines i want to use the circle so we'll go right here where we have a white kind of triangle, click on this. And this is, you can create three two points arch, but we, what we're going to do is create just a circle. So we'll select, click on the middle and drag. So we can put it right about right here. Um, we probably want to use it about 20 points, so we'll leave it as default. We'll just press enter to validate. And here we have a line with the uh, our points in our circuit. So what I want to do right now, I want to actually go to selection. Okay, first let's go to vertex set of points enable here. So we can actually select points separate. And what we can do, we can select all of them and go and select, um, if you remember, after one, or we can go to selections, go to option select one over n. And now what we do, we'll just specify what we want. So and you notice we um, select every other one. Let's click validate. Now it's where we have it, our gizmo tool. We'll go in the middle. Where's the yellow button? Click on the select and drag. Okay, so what are we doing? We're creating a star. Let's press enter again. Or escape. So we're deselecting and here's we have it, our star done. The other things what I want to do to this star right now, I want to add thickness and our thickness will be in a surface modeling and right here the options we get thickness so if we go right here click on this you'll notice right now we have it already predefy some thickness and we can go modify value maybe put it three right here okay maybe it's a little bit too small let's go with a six and if you want to increase number of points, I want to leave it to eight right now. Press enter. So this way we add a little bit thickness to our star. So what this does with points with us, okay, let me do this one. Control Z, okay, undo. So we'd go the thickness, uh, thickness right here. Okay. And we'll go modify you know what, let's do two so it will be thicker. But number of the points, we actually can go to two or three. What do you notice right here? We'll have it less points, less curve right here. So with eight, we have it more lines run. So leave it, let's leave it like this right now. And what I want to do for this star example, I want to create close these openings. So I don't want them. And one way to do it's always have it like good practice remove some faces that won't be visible that we want to use it okay and to do this let's create click on our faces let's go inside select internal face press l once it will select all the way and press l second time so now we have this loop selecting while selected it will press delete key it will actually remove them so we remove those unnecessary faces that we won't see it Next, I want to close that one. And to do this, we'll just go to um, our utilities. And right here, you have an extract opening. So let's click on this, and we'll go to one edge, click on this edge, press enter. So let's we'll create, create one. Okay, now let's select again our form. Oops, right, that was 
Okay, let's just select it. We'll select our star. We'll click again here. Go up front. Press enter again. So we'll validate. What we done, we created just these two openings right here. And that's actually very nice tools for the future use. You can, it's how easy you can create almost cover for any type of the shape. Okay, and now at this point, I want, I want them to become a same object. Okay, to kind of to weld them together, what are we going to do? We're going to use our welding tool. And this is easy, so we'll select one, we'll click weld, and we'll select second object and press enter. What this does, it will weld them together, it's become like one object based on those lines. You can notice right here, we just only have it one. So let's select another object, again click weld, and select second object, press enter to validate, or just click validate. And there you go, we have it one object only, all this weld together, and it's our star. Now when we're modifying, all those objects will modify together. A um, couple things you need to be careful when you do this, and this is one of the good examples. You can notice we'll have a problem right here with um, some polygons and with some distortion that we have it on our faces. So it doesn't even we have this tool we can apply it, but when we start having UV map, we'll have a little bit problem on this example due to some polygons. But for this tutorial, what I want to show you is how you can create and how you can weld um, together different objects and how you can extract and put them together. Okay, so here is we create our object and we kind of close it on this one. But you know, like in every tool, you have many, many ways you can actually do the same things and uh, provide the same result. You just find the best way to do. So let's look at one thing. Let's go create a similar object. So we'll go again line. We'll go to select circle and we'll just create circle here. Okay, we'll go 20 points as default. Again, okay. click OK. We'll select dot and instead go there. We'll just select um, right click, select all points. Okay, we can modify that way. Just go to shift and reselect every other one. So this is one way you can select. Other ways you can go to select one over and select every second one. So it's again a different ways to do that. Okay, let's validate this one. Let's shrink down to create star. We'll go again to our surfaces. We'll select thickness. And it's kind of remember our settings before. And when we just Click on and we validate. The other things what you can do here, it is going to vertex modeling and using close tool. The one thing is at that point, because we still have this internal, so if we click on close tool, it won't work because it does, um, doesn't find any openings. What we need to do is go back to the surface, create, uh, faces, select one inside, it's what we did before, click L twice, so it's like this inside faces, click delete, now they become opening. So now when we're going and click the close, you will notice we have this white lines outline. Let's click on one and press enter. And what is happening, it's closed for us, those sides. Okay, we can do this again one more time. Go right here, press enter. Okay, and on this point, you can see we created closings and we created very fast this star. And actually to do it in this way, it's a little bit better because we won't have it any distortions on our sides. So when we start to do UV map, it will apply properly. But again, this is just a different way that you can create, um, close the object and create different look, okay? So thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please come visit us on the web at www.geekatplay.com.